there guys, my name is Coach Shadong, the bomb but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. Now this is from Port Aventura and yes you read the title correctly. It seems like from an article by EN24 which I've linked in the description down below, uh, there's apparently a article from Port Aventura potentially in a partnership for a brand new theme park complex uh, with three phases and a total investment of 150 million euros. And it's in partnership with the La Liga. Now, obviously, you know, that's probably the link why I'm wearing this Donny Rovers top. And also, the reason why I'm wearing this is because I just finished filming a uh, uh, video uh, for today on the second channel. You can go and check that out. Again, links in the description down below, along with my Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitter, um, as well as the second channel link there. And yes, I uh, did some video. Uh, you can check that out once it's uploaded. And um, yeah, that channel's been getting a lot of good recognition in a short space of time. So, um, you know, please go and support that channel. It would mean a lot to me to get that channel up into the 1000s and the 2000s, like this channel. And um, yeah, the support on there is fantastic. Um, Basically, on the second channel, if you didn't know already, we cover uh, football, basketball, especially Doncaster Rovers, because that's my team, obviously. And um, it made sense actually wearing this top for this video and for the videos today. Uh, well, pre recorded today and some maybe tomorrow. But um, yes, so the re it's a good reason I wear this top today because it is football based, because La Liga partnering with Port Aventura. It's uh, very, very interesting. And I told you guys two channels, football in one, theme park in the other. They clash at some point. Uh, now, uh, before we chat about all this information, make sure you go and like the video if you've loved it. Make sure you comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you never miss another thrilling YouTube video. We are getting closer and closer to 500,000 views across all the videos and nearly at 2,000 subscribers as well, which is very, very nice indeed. So please go and hit the subscribe button and let's get into this video and talk about this brand new La Liga partnership with Port Aventura in Salou, Spain. So all the information is from EN24 and uh, it says as follows, football will enter Port Aventura and the part will be present in all the fields of La Liga. The beat challenge is a result of an alliance uh, that unites the leisure and sports and that will be developed in three phases to culminate with the opening of a new theme park dedicated to football in the tourist complex of the Golden Coast. In total an investment of 150 million euros that starts with the creation of the next generation virtual game that will be operational from the next football season. Um, in addition to the digital experience in the first phase the park will open a new restaurant and a themed restaurant and a store with all La Liga products. So an official um, quote from David Garcia, who's the general manager of business at Port of Interior World, uh, says this project opens up new forms of re relationship with our visitors and makes it possible to reach other segments of the young public. In addition, with one of the leads in the sports industry and his ability to reach millions of people around the world, we also reinforce our internationalization strategy. So the first phase of this project, which is already being developed to be fully operational during the 2021-2022 football season, so not this one of course, the next one, uh, involves an investment of 10 million euros. So with the project, designed to suit the most soccer fans, the part wants to seduce the e-gamers. Now the second phase of the Beat Challenge consists of a La Liga themed attraction that will be involved and in an investment of 40 million. Now, got to think about it, this new themed attraction, themed to La Liga, that's going to be part of the second phase is 40 million um, euros. Shambhala costs 25 million euros. you got to think it's some kind of dark ride here um, on first thought. Now according to the information on which you have the access to the Vanguard, uh, the third planned phase is the most ambitious, which is a brand new theme park dedicated to La Liga that will involve an investment of 100 million euros, the same as the announced construction of Ferrari Land. So, for, so if we're looking at Ferrari Land, we're looking at something the same price as that, which looking at the quality of Ferrari Land and the attractions in that park, we're looking at something good here. Uh, now, this new theme park custom designed for football fans and now in the process of conceptualization will be the fourth within the complex altogether uh, with the Port Ventura Park, the Caribe Aqu Aquatica Water Park and the Ferrari Land which was introduced back in 2017. Now, the announcement of the investment comes during the most complicated season that the resort has had to manage which, like the entire tourism sector, has suffered in the front line of economic consequences caused by coronavirus. Now, the pandemic forced to suspend the opening when everything was ready to start and celebrate the 25 years of the facilities. 
Despite the difficulties, Port Aventura World opened in early July, already promoting the Halloween campaign and ends the summer with the announcement of the alliance with La Liga. Now the project will be channeled through a joint venture which includes a 15 year license agreement with Port Aventura World uh, which is 5.1 million clients per year for the exclusive use of the Liga brand, 115 million fans, for Europe and Russia. With this, uh, the official quote uh, from Oscar May, who's the Director of Business and International Development at La Liga, says, We offer our clubs the opportunity to amplify their brands to a young and family audience in a global way to offer advantages in Puerto Ventura world. So that is all the information from EN24. Again, link will be in the description down below for all of that. And now I'm going to share with you my thoughts on this news. So there we go. That is looking at all the information surrounding this potential development, well, not even potential to be honest, I think it's very all but confirmed to be happening, uh, development. Uh, this three-phase development as part of a 15-year lease with La Liga's partnership. And, you know, for those of you who are not football fans, obviously this won't be a project that applies to you guys. Um, you might want to go in there to check out the attractions, the different stuff, the activities, the experiences from the tourism side of things. But in terms of the theme of it, obviously you guys that are not football fans will not be the target market for this. Uh, me personally, since I'm a massive football knowledge person, uh, Stato, some people some people close to me call me Stato sometimes. <laughs> but don't even bother putting questions in the comments down below about football because I'm not going to come up with the answer straight away. Um, but yes, um, what do I think about this project? I think it's a very good project for, the, I mean, for the target market that they're going for. I think the target market are going to really enjoy this. Now, for those of you who don't know anything about football, La Liga is the top, uh, pre basically the Premier League of Spain. Uh, so you've got big, big teams in there. Real Madrid, Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, Valencia, Villarreal, uh, Bilbao to an extent, Real Betis to an extent. Uh, loads of you know, loads of great teams in their own right, and uh, we have Real Sociedad. That's another good one, um, and plenty more. I can't name them all, but you know, Villarreal. That's another one. Um, but that's just a select few of the teams in the Premier League, and of course, you know, usually with the Premier League rules, you know, three go down every season, three come up from the second division every season, and um, you know, I think that this is a very, very decent investment. I think. This kind of gives me vibes of when Kenny would announce Steel Curtain. Now, if you don't know what that is, that is an SNS multi looper coaster themed to the Pittsburgh Steelers, of course, local to Kennywood. Uh, that coaster opened last year in 2019. Um, and I think I've got the same kind of vibes from this as I got when Kenny would announce Steel Curtain. And that is, it's. If it's only good for one target audience, which is the football fans, of course, American football, this one with soccer, it's only targeted to the football fans and, of course, people that might like the experiences. And I think those group of people will be happy, but on the flip side of that, you've got to look at the people that don't know what La Liga is, don't know what football is, don't follow the sport. Uh, you've got to look at what they might not understand. Um... But, you know, and, the, and they may not be the target audience, but they may get confused about why they're doing this. But one big thing I'll take away from this, and it's similar again to, to Steel Curtain at Kennywood. I love how Port Aventura are going to be devising this partnership, this, li this licensed partnership with La Liga, a Spanish league with a Spanish theme park. So, to that extent, to, to, to you know, sticking with a countrywide brand... Fair enough, you know, this is a massive, massive project, and, you know, I, I mean, this is definitely very exciting in my opinion, um, and me being a football fan, I've seen these teams uh, in action, and, you know, I think that a La Liga theme park sounds amazing, you know, from a football fan point of view, uh, and, a and a football presenter kind of view, um, it'd be fantastic to see this happen. Uh, the announcement time, the time of the announcement was very, very, you know, confusing, as it says in the article from EN24. Again, links in the description down below for that, um, where you can find out for yourselves all the information surrounding this new theme park. Um, yeah, from the announcement and the time of the announcement, I think it was very confusing. Very confusing because we're in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic. Spain... Um, I think is definitely lower than it was. It was one of the worst hit countries at the start of the pandemic. 
Um, I'm not too sure where they are now, so I don't want to speculate because it's too serious to speculate on about where they are in terms of getting things back to some kind of normality. Um, but the rules are very, very similar in some countries in Europe, so it will be similar to a few others. Um, but I know they're still fighting this pandemic, so in the midst of this, pan this global pandemic, it's a very weird time to announce this. You know, I'd have been very happy if they announced this in about a year or two's time, and they delayed it a couple of years. So I'd have been more, you know, I'd have been more satisfied and less confused with the fact if the, if this video was two years later and they announced this and the pandemic was gone and stuff like that, I'd be like, well, this is a fantastic project. This is the right time to announce it, get the economy back up and running after what we just suffered over the last year or two or three, and you know, get it back up and running. But the fact that it's during the pandemic, a couple of years before when I thought it was going to be announced, um, because when when I saw this story, I was like, I'm expecting this to be announced in like two years time. I'm expecting this to, to delay this. And, you know, tourism has been on the front of an economic downfall in the coronavirus pandemic. Small businesses, uh, small, you know, restaurants, uh, brands, you know, all over the world have been hit by this pandemic financially, economically, uh, and also publicly as well. And, you know, the, the timing of the announcement was very, very weird because, you know, we're in the midst of this pandemic, first of all, and there's a massive economic downfall. So, you know, maybe, obviously, this is just in the concept side of stage. You know, nothing has been, I think, uh, the only thing that's really been agreed is the licensing from the report that Port Aventura is linking up with La Liga. Um, but nothing concept-wise has been announced. We haven't got any concept art to share with you guys. We have, well, we have one concept art, which I showed you on your screen. Uh, which was like a La Liga concept art, um, but in terms of actual um, like park concept art, there's no real look at what attractions there could be. I mean, the second phase sounds very exciting. The fact there's going to be a 40 million euro attraction and Shambhala, the B&M Hyper that opened in the Porto and Tura Park in 2012, the Bolgar and Maviard Hypercoaster, that cost 25 plus 15 million euros onto the 25 that Shambhala cost. And you've got the price tag for this second phase attraction, which is very exciting. I can, I think, with that price tag, I can only assume it will be a dark ride. But I could be wrong. It could be their next major coaster project, you know. So I could be wrong. I mean, if we do see a coaster in the concept art, I would put two and two together and say that is the uh, 40 million euro attraction. Uh, 40 million is a lot for a coaster, but you got to remember, I think the 40 million would be combined with coaster track supports foundation uh the theming around the ride and to be fair with a la liga theme you, you, you could do a barcelona theme coaster or a real madrid theme coaster or you could do a dueling coaster i mean could you i mean look at the coastline they've got a hyper they've got um you know a launch coast we've got two launch coasts they've got furious backer which is your wing launch coaster and then you've got red, red force which is your accelerator coaster your top thrill dragster type launch coaster and you know, if this 40 million euro attraction was going to be a coaster themed to La Liga, my best guess at this case could be maybe 20, it, it, well, split it in half. Maybe it's 20 million per track. Maybe it's a dueling uh, coaster of some sort. Maybe it's a dueling launch. You know, they've got a singular acceleration launch. They've got a wing launch. Maybe it's a dueling launch. You know, maybe it's two Tarrants, you know, going at it. Um... I think Taron cost about 15 million euros in the Klugheim themed section of Fantasia Line, but I think that's just the coat. I'm not too sure if the 15 million euros was the coaster track itself or the theming as well. But if it is the theming as well, you know, change the theming to theme it to whatever you want. You know, add, you know, some stuff to it and make the theming even bigger than Taron. And you've got 20 million euro coasters dueling. And to be fair, you could do some good stuff with that. You could do one side painted with white track and like navy blue supports and that's the Real Madrid track and then you've got um, like a dark blue track or like a or like a, like a navy, I won't say navy red but like a, a scarlet red track with navy blue supports and then you've got the Barcelona track and then you have like it's sort of like a football battle but in coaster form and maybe it's two dueling launch coasters themed to Real Madrid and Barcelona and it's like you're playing the match so you are so the coaster train is the players and you're sort of battling against each other with the twists and turns and inversions. So it's like a dueling Taron in a way, which I think would be very, very cool. Um, 
I love a dark ride, don't get me wrong, another dark ride would be brilliant for Port Venturi, they've only just got their uh, Sesame Street uh, missions, uh, mission dark ride uh, in the Sesame Aventura area back in you know 2019, we did a couple of reports on that if, uh, about a year ago. And, um, you know, a thrilling dart ride, or, or, or like a his just even a historic dart ride, you know, a tracked dart ride or a trackless dart ride, thing to the history of La Liga, like a historic tour and get some effects in and stuff like that, and make you feel part of the action, and make you feel part of the match, that would be a good dart ride experience. Um, but if it is going to be a coaster, my best guess would be a dueling coaster where you're playing either on as Real Madrid or the Barcelona coaster. So either Real Madrid coaster or Barcelona coaster and you're battling against each other in a football match. That would be the best theme ever and probably the most unique IP theme for a coaster in, in the whole of history. You know, I'll call it now. Um, but no, it sounds very, very exciting. So we're gonna start with the with the store, the Liga products, uh, the themed store in the park and uh, then go into the second phase which you know I think from the sounds of it, it looks like the first phase will be done around the 2021-2022 season uh, and then the second phase maybe we're looking at a 2023-24 maybe even 25 project and um, then of course the third phase of that would be the, the, the theme park itself which you know to be fair I, I, I can't complain I really can't complain so I think the way they're going to do this is uh, where the site for this will be you have the La Liga store and you have the products uh, ready uh, next to the, well actually to be fair on the site of the park but sort of at the front where of course the store would be, uh, wherever this has been located and then the second phase of it would be its own attraction next to it um, and the Liga store and the bus and, and whatever attraction it is whether it's a dart ride or a coaster. Um, that forms like a little mini plaza while the actual theme park's being constructed behind it. So I think that's how they're going to work construction. We don't know that for sure, but I think that's what I'm predicting in terms of the way they're going to construct this and you know how they're going to construct it. So the store first, the attraction second, and then um, that's like a little mini plaza while the rest of the new park's being constructed behind it. I think that's just my theory on how it's being constructed. Um, so what's my final thoughts on this? Um, I'm very excited. I'm not going to lie to you guys. The creative potential with this, even though it's an IP, it might be the weirdest IP in the world for you guys, but honestly, as a football fan myself, I'm really excited for this. And I think it's going to attract a lot of people that don't usually go to theme parks on a weekend because they're too busy watching their team play on a weekend in the La Liga. Uh, obviously not now because we're behind closed doors, of course. But, um, you know, for usually where fans watch their team play every weekend, when they're not playing on a weekend, they can go and do some La Liga themed stuff at the Port Aventura theme park and not only is that going to put more revenue in the Port Aventura pockets, that's going to bring a whole new type of audience to the park which is going to boost the uh, annual visitors every year. So, you know, and the fact that it's a 15 year lease, I've no doubt that Port Aventura will probably extend that lease, but if they don't, then I'm sure it's going to be very easy to retheme that whole park and make it an original theme or give it a new uh, sort of IP uh, but there we go thank you very much guys for watching this theme park news update on the La Liga theme park uh, coming to Port Aventura in the next few years uh, like I said 150 million euro projects overall over a, over a good gap of a few years so uh, very exciting stuff there uh, we do have loads of Halloween news from things like Six Flags Hallifest, Horror Nights, Universal uh, that we're going to talk about in separate videos so make sure you go stay tuned for them uh, either today or today and tomorrow uh, if we go to, uh, have to if we have to press them over two days uh, but make sure you stay tuned for all of them uh, I'll be doing a load of more of your video suggestions hopefully as well so make sure you stay tuned for them uh, whenever they come out and for now guys my name is Coach Chow, Donkster Bomb, but built for theme park news keep living the coaster life and I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care guys have an awesome day